three, two, one. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I want to know. No, don't go down. No, no, no. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. We're to the channel. Connor, do you have a fish on? <laughs> nice. After all this rain and all the red tide, we just wanted to get out and do some fishing. So we decided to go out, random spot in Tampa Bay. We just picked an area, we fished, and we caught easily 70 fish today, I would say. But it was a crazy day. Let's get started. Let's get fishing. I'll see you guys back at the house when we feed moose. Okay, we're filming. So Connor just cast, actually I cast first on this oyster bar out in the middle of nowhere. And I caught a ladyfish, and then Connor cast, had a redfish, fell off, but we're gonna throw these swim baits and see if we can't get anything. This is insane. We almost went right past, we almost hit this thing. <laughs> we almost, God's throwing fishing spots at us. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's better, I think. I think, oh, trouty. Oh yeah, dude, what? So we literally have been just driving around exploring for the last, I don't know. Half hour? Hour? Yeah, hour. hour. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just decided to that we almost over. ran over because <laughs> there's the skinniest pole I've ever seen. Look at that. Are you? Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's not a bad trout. That's a good one. Come here, bud. Connor just, oh, missed him again. <laughs> just twitch it and then, yeah, let him let it sink a little bit. But this is actually a swim bait. Maybe by, okay, bye-bye. Maybe by grabbing tails. It's just a little green back color, but we're just throwing it on this oyster bar and dragging it right over top of it. I think, did you have a red on your, yeah. it was definitely a red. So we've already seen reds, trout, and ladyfish off this oyster bar. In like three casts. In like three casts. Come on. Oh, dude. There he is. Got him. Got him. Trouty. Another small, he's actually a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, it's smaller. Hey, I'm not complaining though. To avoid red tide and catch trout right now is, I'll take it any day. Come here, buddy. There we go. Double up on little trout. See you, dudes. Oh, mine's a little confused. There he goes. And like, we're gonna double up again. You just get crushed. Got him? Oh, I'm on. Another double up. <laughs> Dude, mine's a micro. Mine's a micro. Yours is tiny too, actually, but. Oh, look how cute they are. Hey, we're catching fish. I'm happy. Oh, easy release. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's every cast. Okay, that's actually better, I think. Yeah, I think that's just a better trout, maybe? No, it's still, eh, he's not bad. He's tiny. He's a tiny guy. Oh my, dude. We're gonna be going through swim baits left and right today. I don't get any bites when I'm close to the boat. I think they're further back on the oyster bar. That was like, oh, oh boy. Uh, that's a red. That's gotta be a red. Yes, this has gotta be a red. Dude, yep, yep, no doubt. There's gotta be a red. Yes, let's go. Dude, we, yes, this is awesome. Is that a trout? What is that? Fat oh my god, dude, it's a dude. Oh, oh my god, dude, dude, that's a healthy one. I thought it was a red. All right, he's a little green still. Hey, bud, I'm gonna help you. Well, Connor and I are ripping lips on the gi. There we go. That's uh, probably the biggest, that's gonna be probably the biggest trial of the day. Hopefully, not, but hopefully, we'll catch some more. We're gonna let him go. I'll take the camera from you and I'll get it closer. Okay, never mind, never mind. This grab and tail swim bait's putting in the work, let me tell you. It's like a DOA cow, but bigger tail and ribbed body, which I kind of like, it's pretty cool. This is what, they come in, they're pretty good. You miss one? I'm gonna just leave like three or four of them out because we're gonna be breezing through them. It's probably like 15, 16. Yeah, and I try to touch the trout in like two places, the tail and like right underneath the gills so that way I'm not touching like taking all the slime off their whole body, you know? This is wild. Haven't had a bite like this in a while. I'll take this any day, dude. Up this is literally such a random spot. It really is. Just, oh. It's really just a random oyster bar literally in the middle of the bay. We're just in the middle of the bay. I found an oyster bar. It's pretty insane. Look at the ladyfish chasing it. Look, look, look. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, do you want this thing? Oh, every time I say that, they fall right off. Okay, that's better. That's a, I think that's a better one. Better than the last one. Has to be, right? The last one was pretty tiny. But yeah, that's not bad. Wait, is that a trout or a snook? Mine's like jumping. It's gotta be a trout. Yeah. He's just like, he's just doing flips over here. You just lose one? Okay, that's that's not a bad one. That's probably, a, yeah, that's probably a 15. Come here, bud. They are just inhaling the swim bait right now. There we go. He's, he was he was ready to do the flippy flip thing, so I was just like, no, just go. All right, so just to take a little 30 second break to go over what we're doing. So I have my seven foot six medium heavy star rod VPR, 3000 with 10 pound braid, 20 pound leader, really, really light line because whenever I'm fishing a new area, I like to go really light. So that way I don't feel like I'm missing out on fish because my leader is too heavy. And then with that, we have a, I believe this is like a 3.0, 3.0 jig head with, um, I think this is a quarter ounce weight and then a grab and tails swim bait. I'll leave their Instagram down in the description if you guys want to check out some of their swim baits, but they make some pretty good stuff, swims really well. We're just casting it over the oyster bar. Just straight retrieve, couple little twitches in there just to give it some erratic action. But the trout are going crazy over it. And uh, I'm definitely not going to complain about this when all this red tide's going on right now because catching fish is catching fish and uh, can't complain about that. It's a nice day. We're going to be out here for a little while. Let's catch some more fish. Oh my gosh. Baits, That's actually kind of cool. It was so cool. You guys got... What? How? How did that ladyfish pull like that? How is that a ladyfish? I don't get it. Got him. Oh God, dude. Is that a big lady? Please be... That feels... Dude, I either am foul hooked on something or I actually have like a decent fish. If I'm not foul hooked on something, this thing's heavy. This thing's heavy. Dude, what is this? What is this? I wanna know. No, don't go down. No, 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 no. What is it? Is that a catfish? Oh no, it's a Mr. Whiskers. No, Mr. Whiskers. How did you eat that swim bait? I was, that thing was flying. Oh. I have right here. Thanks. Mr. Whiskers. I was like, I actually have a good fish on, I think. I definitely the heaviest fish of the day. That's a fat cat, dude. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. You want to just like, look at the slime on my line. You can hold the line. I can just get the pliers. You sure? Oh my God. You're not fishing in Tampa Bay if you're not catching big kitties. Lovely. That was the smoothest catfish release I've ever seen. Look at my line. <laughs> what is this? What? Disgusting. Look at this. Look at that. That is disgusting. Okay. Wow. That's nice. Thank you, Mr. Whiskers, for that. Thanks for letting that thing go. It's a lot easier with pliers. Dude, how? There we go. Is this a cat? I think this is a catfish. Oh no, wait, that's a big trout. <gasps> oh my, dude. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big, dude, there's some with him. Oh my God, there's a catfish chasing him. Did you see that? Dude, this is a big trout. All right, what is going on right now? Trout? Dude, that's a big trout for today at least. All right, there he goes. He, that is the wiliest trout. It's not bad. Oh, dude, what just happened? I think I just broke off. No, I took my swim bait. He took my swim bait. Thank you, Grab and Tails, for sending me swim baits. They're going to use today. The fish on this cast, watch. Ready? Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> that was like two seconds. I think it's actually a good sized trout. I think that's a better trout. <laughs> He said, I'm not even going to reel. Oh, I, I did it really? Mine's not bad though, I don't think. Like, he's just kind of running towards me. Probably like a little, oh, that's not, wait. Uh, okay, he's not that bad. He's like a little 14, 13, 14. Oh. 
Should I do a trout counter? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> How many trout are in this area? Dude, that's a good one. Oh, Yours can eat mine. <laughs> Look how tiny mine is. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Oh my God, that's adorable. Look how tiny. Yours literally could have ate mine. Like no joke, trout like oyster bars. That's what I've come to learn. Yep, okay, that's a lady anyway. Lady, lady fish like oyster bars too. We don't discriminate. This is, I feel like this is gonna be a cat. Look, see how it's just, you stupid piece of junk. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't like their fins. They scare me. <sighs> it's so late. Okay, even better. Okay. I feel like you literally... How have I caught so many on a swim bait? Like what? I haven't caught a single one on a swim bait. Yeah, I don't get it. I've found plenty on a bait. It's so weird. Three, two, one. <laughs> that might go in the intro clip, to be honest. Oh, I just saw your rod just go <laughs> droom. <laughs> Trouty? Trouty? Trouty! Oh, that's what a crazy trout bite. It's time for me to catch one. Okay, I catch one and then I'm ready to go get some B-roll. Well, Moose is back after last week's video where Moose was full after Robbie fed him three whole hot dogs in the last video, so I apologize for not having any recent footage of Moose, but he is back, he is hungry, and he's eating hot dogs. Let's give him one more hot dog, so two halves. I'm gonna break this into a couple pieces. Bloop. There he goes. Bloop. There he goes. Bloop. And, oh, the blue girl trying to get from him. We do have some pretty crazy bluegill. They're on like steroids because they have to compete with the bass when it comes to food, but. Oh, the bluegill are getting them. Moose looks full. Uh, moose is still chewing. That's what it is. Well, the bluegill are getting a nice snack, I guess. But hope you guys did enjoy the video. Connor and I had a good time. I'll leave his stuff down below, but it was just really good to get out and catch some fish during red tide because this red tide has made things super hard to catch fish. And especially this time of year, trout aren't necessarily that thick right now. I mean, it's usually kind of like a winter thing. Had a good time fishing a completely new spot. We've never fished anywhere near that spot. We literally went out that morning. We were like, hey, let's just go ride around the Ginu and see if we can't find some spots. Came across that oyster bar. We almost ran it over, but we caught some fish. We had a good time and it was a good day, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.